Hi, in this video, I am going to discuss the significant drug interaction between digoxin and quinidine. So whenever a drug interaction is possible, we have to check whether it is a pharmacodynamic interaction or pharmacokinetic interaction. So first of all, let us see any chance of pharmacodynamic interaction. So digoxin uh, is a cardiotonic, whereas quinidine is an antiarrhythmic acid. And at the same time, disoxin is going to block the sodium potassium ATPase pump, whereas quinidine is going to block the voltage gated sodium channels. So, if you see by the clinical indication, both are different drugs, and even the drug target is different. Disoxin is acting on a pump, and quinidine is acting on ion channels. So, any chance of pharmacodynamic interaction is less possible with the disoxin and quinidine at this stage. So let us start uh, to check the pharmacokinetic interaction. Again, the drugs digoxin and quinidine may interact at any of the four steps like absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. But these two drugs show the significant drug interaction at the two st stages. First one is the distribution and second one is the excretion. So let us see in detail about how these interactions are possible at the distribution and excretion phases. First of all, at distribution, how a drug is going to be bound with a protein. So any drug can interact with protein and form a drug protein complex. So a drug can exist as free form as well as bound form. And the free form of the drug is active form and bound form of the drug is the inactive form. Now, more lipophilic drugs can cause the protein displacement of the drug, increase the free drug concentration in the plasma. This increased free drug concentration can be either metabolized or excreted. Or it can also increase the drug toxicity if it is having a narrow therapeutic window. Now let us see what happens with the disoxin. Disoxin again forming a complex with the protein, so it exists in the two forms, free form and bound form. So drugs like quinidine, which is more lipophilic than disoxin, can cause the protein displacement, thereby decreases the binding of the disoxin to the protein and increases the free concentration of the disoxin in the plasma. As disoxin has a narrow therapeutic window, this interaction can increase the disoxin toxicity. So this is one of the significant drug interaction at the distribution level. Now let us see the at excretion phase. Consider this is the section of the renal tubule and this is the inside of the renal tubule and this is the plasma. Now the disoxin present in the plasma can be secreted into the renal tubule by one of the pump P glycoprotein. P glycoprotein is an afflexing pump. It always increases the secretion of the drugs out of the plasma into the renal tubules. And whenever the drug disoxin is present inside the renal tubule, it can be excreted out of the body. Now, drugs like quinidine can block this P glycoprotein, thereby inhibit the secretion of the disoxin from the plasma into the renal tubule. So, this increases the free concentration of the disoxin levels in the plasma, which may lead to the disoxin toxicity. So, quinidine interacts with the disoxin by two mechanisms. It causes the displacement of the disoxin from the protein binding sites. And second one, it inhibits the P-glycoprotein, thereby increase the disoxin levels. As the disoxin is having narrow therapeutic window, it always leads to the disoxin toxicity. So that's about the a significant drug interaction between the quinidine and disoxin.